So we used a Focus 3D X330 to capture this bridge in its as-built condition just before completion. We did about 20 scans in roughly three hours and registered the data to within about two to three millimeters in another hour. So some of the things we can do with this data, of course, uh, starting with bridge sections. So a real fast and easy way to get a, a great cross section of the bridge. We can use a clipping box here to hide some of the data that we don't need and isolate, whether for modeling or just as-built purposes, a very thin cross-section of that bridge. Uh, we're also able to determine rail clearances. So picking a point on the top of our rail and establishing a surface at the bottom of our actual bridge, we can get a perpendicular distance from the top of the rail to the bridge. Surfaces. So of course for our buttresses, we were able to uh, just capture that along with the rest of the bridge that we happen to be capturing. And using the builder or the surveyor app can produce a tin surface directly inside of scene that we can then export to land XML. Using that same surveyor app, we can quickly get the slope of our buttress. And of course, uh, excavation or uh, elevation that is in cut fill maps. So we can get a very quick visual representation of what is high and what is low that we can then turn into a report. Of course, contours on the same thing. So if we want to actually get a topography for that surface. Each one of those blue and green and red lines represents uh, a specific contour at a de defined elevation. And we can do the same thing for dirt. So going back to that buttress, we can very quickly have it create some nice clean contour lines for us, uh, each with a labeled elevation. All of that can be exported as a DXF or land XML to uh, Civil 3D. And of course, finally, getting an actual as-built document. Uh, so because the scanner takes pictures, you've got everything completely recorded. So things like electrical boxes that we just looked at and other things like that can be recorded in their exact state that they were when the scans were taken. Uh, and you can go back and review that document at any time. And of course, uh, fly through visualization. So the scene software also does have a video pro app, which allows you to create uh, up to three times HD rendered high quality flight through videos with your data, which is what we're looking at here. So hopefully you've enjoyed that review of our bridge as built data set.